were there. When a world of limitless adventure opened up before us. We rose defiantly against all those that threatened the peace of our kingdoms. We ventured to a new, alien world and cast the Lords of Shadow and Flame back into the Abyss. It was we who held the line, as death itself rose like a tide to swallow everything we held dear. We have endured the breaking of the world, and must now face the Destroyer and end his cycle of destruction. But soon, we will face a new chapter. An adventure unlike any we've known thus far. A mystery shrouded by superstition. A land of forgotten power and ancient magics. And a people that may well change the fate of us all. challenges we have faced, and all the places we have been, Azeroth's limits have yet to be revealed. To ask why we fight is to ask why the leaves fall. It is in their nature. Perhaps... There is a better question.
Why do we fight? To protect home and family. To preserve balance and bring harmony. For my kind, the true question is, what is worth fighting for? His wounds can be healed. I hope you can forgive yourself for what you have done to him. Pleased to report that the battle at sea goes well, War Chief. Our forces report decisive victories off the coasts of Tenaris and Tol Barad. Alliance blood spills. This pleases me, General. There's more. I've received word that our southern fleet engaged an Alliance envoy. We chased the Royal Flagship until it ran aground. Aground? Where? Apparently, they found a massive, uncharted landmass, shrouded by dense mists. And you let the Alliance get there first! Redirect the invasion fleet! General, you and your best veterans will pave our way, storm the shore, and paint this new continent red! We've made a thorough inspection of the wreckage, Your Majesty. There is no sign of Admiral Taylor or his ship. 200 ships at my disposal, yet the one carrying my son goes missing. What of their last message? Show me whatever you have. We have been drawn off course. Horn air fleet. Any casualties? Shipwrecked on an uncharted isle. But the White Pawn is accounted for. Repeat, the White Pawn is safe. And doing. Surprise attack! Requesting immediate if anyone's received. Sir, the Seventh Fleet has already been dispatched, but it could take weeks before it... There's no time to waste. We'll send a small elite force to secure this new land and bring back my son. We've been flying in this mist for hours, General. The truth grows uneasy. Back to your post, soldier. We'll find this land, or die trying.
The flagship's last reported position was below. Can you see anything? Fog. Nothing but dense fog. Wait. Land! Starboard! I see ships! Those are horde vessels. General quarters! Get our birds in the air! Clear the decks! Stations, people! Let's go to war! message must lie within. What fate did the Emperor foresee? A monstrous thing. His name, Lei Shen, the Thunder King. His thunder boomed across the land, and none who dared and fought could stand against the Iron Tyrant's hands. A palace grand, a warm domain, such mighty works born of his reign, built by slaves. Their hearts in chains. But seasons change and tyrants die. His fury spent in times gone by. The thunder slept beneath Kunlai. Secure the remains, brothers. By Zandalari hands, he has been taken. By Zandalari voice. As a weekend.
Thunder King comes. The Thunder King comes. For far too long, Hell Scream. But that stops now. <laughs> Step aside, Pandaren. You confront a force beyond reckoning. Your father dabbled in powers beyond reckoning. Where is he now? <laughs> And others! You are nothing like them! They are no longer part of my horde! <coughs> the world will hear of this. <coughs> they will come for you. Yes. I'm counting on it. The armies of the world will come for me. And within my fortress, they will face all the terrible creatures I have wrought. The boundless power I have mastered. And one by one, they will fall at my feet. Anyone who would rise against my new horde will be impaled upon the spires of Orgrimmar! You, Pandaren, tried to bury your hate and your anger, but such power cannot be contained. It must be unleashed! Time will come when you will answer for your crimes. I answer to no one! Legacy. His punishment is not for you alone to decide. I won't let you take him. We have all suffered from his atrocities. My people, more than any other. Let him stand trial in Pandaria. There, we will meet out justice for all.
The Horde needs its true war chief. Now, more than ever. Yes. But it was you that held the Horde together during this madness. It was you that protected our honor. From this day forward, Vol'jin, if you lead, I will follow. I am not worthy. But I will give my all for the Horde. Oof. Look at them. Already they plot against us. Seize this moment, Varian. Dismantle the Horde. God's men! Father, what are you doing? What a king must do. I will speak to your war chief. I speak for the Horde. Very well. The Horde has committed heinous crimes, Vol'jin. But some among you fought against Garrosh's tyranny. For that, I am willing to end this bloodshed. But know this, if your horde fails to uphold honor as Garrosh did, we will end you. Dear Emperor, it is done. The darkness that you once struggled against has been purged from Vandaria forever. But the cost such a terrible cost. Do not despair the damage that was done here. You triumphed over the darkness I had locked away. You have shown Pandaria the power of a true hero. But the question still remains, why do we fight? I trust you have learned to fight out of fear or anger is to fight a war that never ends. Face your fears, calm your hatreds. Find peace within yourself so that you may share it with the world around you. These are the greatest treasures in life. Truly they are worth fighting for. Thank you, Emperor. Thank you. <laughs>